Hello, and in this video, we're gonna be doing some cooking. Now, I don't suggest you try this while you're driving, um, but I think you're gonna like it. Let me know what you think. In this one, another one of my favorites. I think you're gonna like it. It's the Cornish pasty. The version of the Cornish pasty, I'm gonna be using um, a pound of ground beef. Um, you can use alternatives. I've seen it made with chicken. I've seen them made with all vegetables, um, kind of a vegetarian option. Um, also like things like cheese and onion, um, pasties, um, and even a curry. But um, today, as I say, we're gonna be using the ground beef. I've also got a couple of carrots here and a potato. Um, again, the, I think the traditional Cornish pasty would probably have a sweet in it or a turnip. Um, but again, I'm just using things that we have here ready available. That's the beauty of the pasty. You can kind of be creative with it. So the first thing we're going to do is um, cook the um, beef. Okay, so here we have the beef. I've um, got it in a frying pan and I've put a little bit of chopped onion in with it. So I'm going to put that onto the stove now and um, get that cooked. Okay, so while the beef's cooking, I'm going to prepare the vegetables. So let's say we've got one large um, potato here. Um, obviously you can put larger quantities in if you want to make a larger quantity of Cornish pasties. Um, and we'll go on to the pastry a little later. So just top and tail the carrot. We'll peel this much the same. I can smell that beef cooking, it's absolutely gorgeous with the onions. I think you're really going to like it. Okay, so we're just going to dice up the carrot into kind of small chunks. Sorry about the background noise. We're live in, a, in front of a TV studio audience today. It's my daughter over there giving me some advice. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same with the potato and cut that into squares or pieces. It's more or less the same size as the carrot. I think we're just about there. So there, there we have it. There's our chopped carrots and our chopped potato. So we've got the beef and onion cooking up quite nicely in the pan. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think you're gonna like it. And I think at this point we're gonna add the vegetables. Potato, carrots. We're going to add a, already added some, a pinch of salt, um, and at this point you can add in maybe some herbs if you want to put some herbs in, or any any spices. But um, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in mine. So we're going to let this cook through for a little while now. Okay, so here we have our pastry. Um, I'm actually using ready-made pastry. Um, I just find it easier and quicker. Um, you're more than welcome to make your own pastry if you know how to do that. Um, I've basically, I've, grown, I've drawn around or used a medium-sized dinner plate to draw the sh a circle. Um, and obviously you could use the different varying size plates depending on the size of pasta you want to make. But this, this one's probably about, I don't know, maybe eight or nine inches across. So that's the size of our pasty. So the next point is we're going to the, the meat and vegetables are now cooked um, and I'm gonna fill the pasty. So here's our beef and vegetable mix. Um, it's been cooked through, I've let it simmer for a while. And um, by the way, I've, I've just turned the oven on and I'm gonna preheat that to about 350. Anyway, we use, um, as I say, I've, I've put the filling on to one half as you can see here of the 
the, the pastry circle and I'm going to fold it over like that and kind of press it down um, and then I'm going to start at one edge and I'm going to fold the pastry over and pushing down as you go basically we're sealing the contents in um, and at the same time it kind of makes a nice pattern and so this is forming the crust and this is the part that the the Cornish tin miners would have held it they probably the crust would have probably been slightly thicker than that but basically that's what you're going to end up with um, and I'm going to lay that onto a baking tray okay so here's the last one fold it over I had enough for three Wow, this smells, this smells gorgeous. So here's the last one. I had a luff for three. Wow, if you could smell this, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, actually, I'm, I'm working on an app that you'll be able to download to your smartphone. Um, and while you're watching this video, you'll actually be able to experience the, the smells as well. I'm working on that and that'll be out pretty soon. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this one onto the baking tray. Okay, so here's the three Cornish pasties waiting to go into the oven. I've laid them onto a baking tray and sprayed it with a little bit of oil so they don't stick. The last thing to do is coat them in um, an egg wash. So it's basically just, um, just get one egg, beat it up, um, and then just kind of paint it on the outside of your pasty. And what this will do is um, it will give it a nice finish um, and it helps it kind of go golden brown which is basically what we're looking for. So you paste it on. It's that one done. Let's do this one. So it's that one. Last of all. This one, um, I think I might have overdone the filling on this one. It's, pastry is starting to split a little bit but that's fine once it cooks up the, the pastry will firm up and and that will taste as good as any it will be gorgeous okay beautiful okay so now we're ready for the oven as I say I've had the oven on for a little while and um, it beeped at me a couple of minutes ago to let me know that it's at 350 um, and I'm gonna put it in for probably about half an hour and I'll check on them um, and once the pastry is cooked and it's golden brown they're, they're ready okay so here's our three Cornish pasties uh, fresh out of the oven they're still very hot um, they're in there for around about half an hour um, as I say about 350 degrees um, until they went golden brown I kept an eye on them um, so the next thing to do I guess is to eat them and um, they look they look absolutely gorgeous um, I think you're gonna like them um, I hope you've enjoyed today's cooking show um, I've got somewhere around 100 recipes and um, different snacks and dishes coming along um, from both um, United Kingdom and through United States um, if you wanted to subscribe at any point I can obviously keep you informed as and when they come online and plan on doing one at least one a week so uh, see you next time thanks for watching goodbye well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope you get the opportunity to try out this recipe and if you do let, leave some notes below let me know how you got on leave, leave a comment let me know how you got on um, if you've got any ideas or any suggestions always willing to learn you can never know it all I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next video um, it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel and maybe give me a like see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye now